In this quick lesson, we're going to look at the flight tracking abilities that are built into iOS and macOS. Rather than needing to go to a flight tracking website, we're able to search for a flight within the built-in Spotlight search, or we can quickly send flight information to someone using iMessage or Mail. So let's start on this iPhone and swipe down on the home screen to bring up Spotlight Search. From here, we're able to simply enter the airline and flight number a couple different ways. If I'm looking for United Airlines Flight 1477, I can enter UA1477. And the top result is that flight with a basic summary. We can get the same result by entering the full airline name, in this case, United Airlines, then the flight number. Tap on the result and we get a full page preview of the flight with its current status, gates, duration, and the baggage claim carousel. Tap the Open in Maps button down here, and we can then jump to a detailed map of either the departure or arrival airport. So in this case, I could zoom in to the arrival gate in Denver for this flight. We can also look up and view flights that are currently en route with their location presented on the map. For those using a Mac, this will work the same way in Spotlight Search. A great way to quickly share flight information is via iMessage or Mail. If I enter the flight number with the airline abbreviation or with the airline spelled out, iOS will use data detectors to know that this is flight information. The recipient, whether on a Mac or an iOS device, can then simply click on the flight to view a preview of its status and other information. You can know that this has been recognized as a flight if it gets underlined when it's sent. If I send an iMessage that just says Alaska 2373, it won't work correctly because I need to include the word airline, or use the airline abbreviation, which for Alaska Airlines is AS. These data detectors will also work in the Mail app for Mac or iOS. and they require macOS Monterey or iOS 15. For more on the new features in iOS 15, take a look at our full tutorial at themacu.com. Thanks for watching.